Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Come Rain, Come Shine, a Korean romance from 2011 that stars Im Soo Jung and Hyun Bin. This was directed by Lee Yong Ki, who is most well known for This Charming Girl, Ad Lib Night, and My Dear Enemy, all high quality films. Now this film opens with a 9 minute long take of a married couple riding in a car together. And after several minutes of small talk, the woman, played by Im Soo Jung, tells the man, played by Hyun Bin, that she's leaving him for another man. And the rest of the film takes place in the couple's home during a rainstorm on their last day together, as the husband helps his wife pack her things. Now the dialogue in this movie seemed quite natural to me. You know, the breakup scene at the start is very low-key, though, with a lack of explosive tempers. You know, if you remember that movie from a few years ago called Marriage Story, good movie. But there were some emotionally charged arguments in that film. That's not the case for Come Rain, Come Shine, which is like the exact opposite in terms of energy level. Both characters calmly take their breakup in stride. You know, despite the fact that the woman has been cheating by seeing this other guy on the side and that, uh, you know, the husband knew about it. So they probably both knew that the relationship was on its last legs, and the breakup that we see in this film was, like, imminent and inevitable, you know? At this point, the breakup itself is just, like, a formality of a relationship that was already dead. Um, but any arguments that occur in the film are executed in a very calm manner. Like, uh, there's a discussion about how the husband is still acting nice and cordial to his wife despite her cheating on him. And there are frustrations that are displayed in the film. And you do get an idea through some indirect communication of some possible reasons as to why the relationship kind of de degenerated over time. The actors do a good job here. Im Soo Jung, who I discovered 20 years ago when I saw A Tale of Two Sisters, um, she's really good in this. I, I really like her a lot. But when thinking about Come Rain, Come Shine, it must have been difficult for the actors to perform when filming long conversations without edits. So if you flub a line or lose concentration, you ruin the entire scene, you need to start all over again. So if it's like a 10 minute uncut scene of dialogue and you like screw something up on minute nine, well you gotta start all over again, I guess. Or maybe you just edit it and film again, I don't know. But uh, it must be pretty difficult. You know, it's a lot like stage acting in that, in that sense. And the opening scene in a car is the perfect example of this. You know, these, these kind of moments are why you watch a movie like this. You know, it gives you that raw kind of naturalistic interaction. On the other hand, there are also stretches of time in this film with no dialogue at all. So they come in little clusters. And in the quieter scenes, the characters are like sifting through items in the house while they box them up for the wife to take away. And they tend to stop and kind of observe a particular item or set of items that may have had meaning to them. And in some cases, they have a discussion about the item afterward, after they box it up. So aesthetically, Come Rain, Come Shine is, is very peaceful and moody. It's similar to how the dialogue is delivered. You know what I mean? It, it's, it mostly takes place in a single location, the house, with the pitter-patter of rainfall outside. It, it almost has like an ASMR vibe to it, for lack of a better description, which really comes through during those non-dialogue scenes. So you have this kind of consistency of kind of peacefulness despite a relationship ending. You know what I mean? I found it to be kind of a really interesting way of presenting it. And that brings us to what will likely be the biggest problem for most people when they watch this film. This is an art house film, and it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> okay, and it's in its art house vibes. You know, they, I say deliberate pacing a lot. Well, this film probably could be considered glacially paced. And I would also describe the story as rather uneventful. You know, at times it does move too slow for its own good. A few shots probably last a bit longer than necessary. So if you're someone who's really into like the more commercial mainstream cinema, you should probably stay away from this, I think. I could see people becoming frustrated at this film's, like, slowness, you know? I personally enjoyed it, though. You know, I think it's well-acted, atmospheric, and it kind of explores the finality of a relationship in an interesting way, I think. 
Now, Lee Yun kis prior films, the films that I mentioned at the beginning of the, uh, of the video, which are This Charming Girl, Ad Lib Night, and My Dear Enemy, I think all had more interesting premises and uh, foundations to revolve the film around compared to Come Rain, Come Shine. But I still think this is a good flick for a particular kind of moviegoer, and I think you know who you are. Uh, it's currently streaming on Tubi, so check it out if you think it's up your alley. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.